Hello my dudes, dudettes, and everything in between. Welcome back to Clive Games. And today we're going to be taking a small break from our uh, Final Fantasy to continue on with our uh, Smuggler story. If you remember last time we played this game, we just got done with the Esselus, which was a long... Uh, wait, where am I going? Wrong way. Uh, which was a long flashpoint, which are dungeons in this game. Um, and I do apologize for that link. <laughs> um, there will be other dungeons that are kind of that long, but as I said, there won't be that many. Um, or at least we're not going to do that many dungeons. For security, Customs Enforcement Division equals welcome you gentle being. Error, identification protocols, past cargo loss, contradictory. Request, please hold for customs enforcement agent. Uh, no. <laughs> we gotta hack our way in to Coruscant. <laughs> That's funny. Identification protocols accepted. Course on security and customer division welcomes you, Admiral Newman. Request, have a pleasant Everything day. Everything on stay. Coruscant is huge. You see those city towers as we flew in? How many people you figure live in those? Millions? You've never been off Ward Mantel in your life, have you? Don't go making assumptions. I've just never been here. Want to find Skalvik before we're too old to shoot straight? We're going to need local help. Got someone particular in mind? I happen to know the perfect guy. There's a gambler named Darmus Pollerin who keeps tabs on everything worth knowing about Coruscant. Good man. You'll like him. Worth a visit, I guess. Where do I find this Darmus? Vidu always said if you look for a sabak table surrounded by beautiful women, you'll find Darmus. But I can narrow that down. <laughs> I still have Vidu's hollow frequency contacts, and Darmus is one of them. Give me a second, and we'll talk to the man himself. Corso, is that you? It's been too long, you rascal. What brings you to Coruscant? A friend and I are in a real bind. Is there a place we can meet you? Of course. Come to my private cantina booth. I'm here now, winning my tenth hand of sabacc against a very persistent rodeo. Hope you don't mind the occasional blaster fire. The cantina is in a rowdy part of Coruscant. Uh, okay. Oh, I got nervous there for a moment. I thought my mic stopped working again. Sounds like my kind of place. Do you know how to play Sabak? If not, I'll teach you. It's the favorite game around here. Keep your comlink channel open, Darmus. I've got some bad news about V2. I'll bring Darmus up to speed while we travel, Captain. Don't tell Darmus anything he doesn't need to know. You got it. Yeah, we really don't need to be spreading too much information around. I mean, Sir Sirena betrayed us. Who knows who else could betray us? Alrighty. Um. So, uh, you come and start this uh planet at level ten or eleven. You're supposed to stop it or finish it around level sixteen. We're already level eighteen. So yeah, so when I said we're overleveled, we overlevel quickly. Alright, hello my dude. Ah, you're here. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the Republic's finest. I admire anyone who charges into an active volcano full of separatists and comes back alive. Technically, I didn't know it was active when I blasted in there. Not that it mattered. My point is you have a talent for beating the odds. People respect that. I represent Venara Kale, Senator of Coruscant. She not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kale leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. You're here collecting credits for the reconstruction, is that it? A person with your skills can provide more substantial aid. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. 
Senator Kale believes you're specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting. Immediately. How long have you loitered around the spaceport waiting for my shuttle? My time is the Senator's time. And I never wait for long. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Speak to Minister Immo at the Senate Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck, and welcome to Coruscant. Mm. Know Coruscant a lot sure about is good us. at making a fella feel small. I guess it's kind of inspiring. <laughs> Makes you feel small. It's inspiring. Very contradictory. All right, flashpoint hammer station. That's a. And remember, flashpoints in this game are dungeons. And yes, you can do the conversations to do the dungeons. Um, but they don't really have that much bearing on the story. Sometimes, if y'all really want to see it, I'll try them. But I'm not a. Like I said, I do not like the group content in this game. It's awful. If they went back to the way it was, I would try it, in all honesty, I would, but... The senators are mighty proud of their office building, aren't they? Can't say I blame them. That's really cool. And level 19, if I remember right. Yep, new thing. Alright, so what are we going to choose? Don't care about the damage, no. We could make our AoE spam more powerful. Increase movement speed. Let's make our damage more powerful. Because we're playing DPS. And the next thing we're going to get is at level 20 for our spec. But more than likely, we have some new abilities we can buy. And if I remember right, we go down here. Or, yep, there it is. Around this corner. Just smuggle out right now. Want to make the big creds? Need skills like mine. Diagnostic scan heals a friendly target 140 over three seconds. So this is your spammable heal, um, healing move. That could be useful. And then distraction interrupts the target's current action and prevents that ability from being used for four seconds need advice so I'm your guy if there if the enemy is using a healing ability like culto injection or something like that you can use this and they won't be able to do it you could use it on some boss abilities but I don't know if it works on like certain bosses Basically, it's like the uh, physical range and tanks interruption move in Final Fantasy. Has a cooldown of 18 seconds, so you can't just do a blah blah blah. You gotta be selective. Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. They should be thankful. If this were the Empire, they'd be slaves. Or worse. I fear their current situation is little better. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. Why haven't you forced all the refugees out? Once they're gone, the gang goes with them. Past attempts to forcibly relocate refugees ended poorly. The criminals helped the people resist and came away looking like heroes. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. 
Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I've got nothing to do with criminal activity. Promise. <laughs> I'm told you're very good at dealing with armed insurgents. That's my interest in you, Captain. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. Leave everything to me, gorgeous. When the bad guys are all gone, I'll take you out for dinner. That's a generous offer. We'll discuss it later. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. And if you forgot, yes, I will be flirting with everything with two legs. Unfortunately, they did not add um LGD LGTB Sorry, I know I know they're my community, but I don't really use that term very often. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty underdressed. You suppose there's a place that rents formal wear around here? Uh, they didn't add uh, gay romances or same-sex romances until later on, unfortunately. So I can't flirt with the men yet, which I would prefer. Uh, so I can only flirt with the women. So yes, I will be having my own little mini vomit sessions while we're doing it. I hate this voice. Oh my god, dude. I hate I hate these creatures. Voice oh, I hate it. And it gets on my nerves. I don't get involved in politics. Tiny ears. Oh my god. Is there a reason you're whining to me about it? They're still not as bad as the sylphs. They will never be. They will never be as bad as the sylphs. Oh, I hate those things. But, um... Yeah, normally whenever I play alone, uh, back when I used to play this game, I would just kind of spam through that. Like, I do not like... Um... Ooh, double-bladed lightsaber. Alright, but this is not where we go for the main story, and I think following the money is a, a, pl is a um, mission for an area we're not going to yet, so I'm going to turn it off so I don't see it. Um, yeah, as we're going on, I want to talk about something. Uh, one thing I wish that they would do with this game is they would allow uh, cross-class stuff like what I would love to do is to be able to play the bounty hunter story but use the Imperial agents abilities oh at least do that because I feel like that would be really fun and really cool Cargo Sisto. oh the um stronghold dude um, because like I could theoretically, if they did something like that, that would be like select an available travel route. super cool to me. Because then I could play the um smuggler story 
but have the commando's abilities where like I carry around an actual assault rifle instead of a pistol or I can carry around that giant gun uh, cannon that would be cool unfortunately they don't like and then it would be even better for like the force stuff because then like the Sith warrior and I know it's slight spoiler they do all like the force choking and stuff um, whereas the Sith Inquisitor is all about the lightning so I would really be like to like to switch that like still have the sit you still have the same voice for the characters like you don't have to do all that um like because each class has its own voice actor like this voice actor from for Thoshin won't be the same voice actor if I play uh commando or Jedi like each has their own voice acting and male and female both that's one thing that I love about Bioware they don't skip on that um but like I would love to be able to play like the Jedi Knight story, but have the Jedi Counselor, um, the Sage abilities where I can use telekinesis. Oh, that would be so fun. But no. Oh yeah, I still got like a crap ton of mail. Uh, I might go through that later. I greet you on behalf of the great and noble Senator Dolly Burbart. I have the honor of being his senior page. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. If your Senator wanted to be here... Oh, I, I don't want... You, you can start over conversations. I don't want to say that. I... Th Why are you bugging me with this? Today, the Senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority. That's gotta cost some serious credits. It will, and we must thank the great senator for his enormous generosity. Recently, the senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. You're looking for outside help. Exactly. The Senator says this issue is really over security's head anyways. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. Is Senator Bark paying for this? Yes, of course. Your fee. In his generosity, the Senator has promised to personally reward anyone who helps. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. I don't trust politicians in this game or in real life. They always got an angle and I don't trust them. This is slicing. You can get um credit boxes, see, which you can instantly directly. Uh, this is stronghold stuff. Alright, let's see what we got going on. Bazaar. Stuff like that. We won't be doing too much exploration. Because we'll kind of do it as we go with um, the missions. But yeah. Alright. And the cantina, where we gotta meet Darmus Palaran. Over there. Alright. Best watering hole on the planet. This is Pazak, I think. Like a gambling. Welcome, game. my friend. I'm Darmus Palaran, Sabak player and information resource without equal. Oh, Sabak, not Pazak. 
I think you can actually play Sabacc. It's either that or another type of game in Knights of the Old Republic, the old game. And I watched that, and it was interesting. I'm kind of glad they did away with it in this. I wouldn't have wanted to play it, but I thought it was a cool little thing they did. Nice to meet you. I'm the fastest blaster in the galaxy. I guess congratulations are in order. I wasn't aware that competition had been settled. Good for you. Sorry to hear about Vidu. He was a man of refined taste and a terrible card player. I'll truly miss him. Life is like Sabak. The trick is to quit while you're ahead and enjoy your winnings. Exactly how I'll spend my twilight years. Best of luck to you. Who needs luck? With the right preparation and a flexible strategy, a man can be ready for anything life throws at him. Even death. Now, I know this isn't a social call. Corso says you have troubles, and I'm prepared to help. Ooh, wear my ship, get revenge on Skavik, or get a gangster off my back. Um... A man named Skavik stole my freighter and brought it here. Corso mentioned a cargo hold full of stolen blasters, and the infamous Rogan the Butcher, too. My sympathies. Skavik is well known in the galactic underworld. He's earned death sentences across the galaxy for everything from armed robbery to kidnapping. He's known to be in the Sith Empire's pocket, and he even cheats at cards. I'm happy to help you find him. If there's one thing I hate, it's a card cheat. In my book, if you can only win by cheating, you shouldn't be playing the game at all. As soon as Corso mentioned Skavik's name, I alerted all my best informants. I'm getting some interesting leads. What did I tell you, Captain? Darmus can find out anything. We'll have Skavik in no time. And how much do you want for your information, Darmus? Nothing, my friend. I couldn't live with myself taking advantage of a man who lost his starship. Skavik recently used the services of a data slicer named Kixie in the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. Quite talented, I hear. I'll say this. The man has a way with women. I don't think it's a romantic relationship. Skavik doesn't convert with aliens, even near humans like Kixie. Kixie might be able to help you flush Skavik out of hiding. Be careful, though. The guild is well armed and doesn't like outsiders. Excuse me, but I noticed some delightful young ladies in desperate need of attention. Duty calls. I swear, every man in this game, in regards to the smuggler story, thinks only with their. I mean, I do too, but I don't act on it. But I suck at flirting, and all honesty, I suck at flirting. Mostly because half the time I'm doing it just to be funny. Like, uh, sometimes I'll flirt with customers, even though I know they're straight. And if their girlfriend's right be beside them, their, their girlfriends love it. It is hilarious, because they know I'm joking. It makes the guy a little uncomfortable. I don't go past the boundary. Like, I don't do anything they're not comfortable with. I keep it somewhat... Okay, but... It's so funny how the girlfriends always love how I jokingly flirt with their... Oh, uh, boyfriends. It's so funny. But I suck at actually flirting with someone I actually am interested in. I'm desperate, Mal. I wish I could help, Nick. I really do, but... I can't spare the manpower. Is this what the Republic has been reduced to? Indifference to the suffering of aliens? Rely on a good blaster, not bureaucrats. That's easy for a hard mercenary to say. But we are peaceful merchants. It is apparently also our misfortune to be aliens. For us, there is no justice. We are ruled over by gangsters who call themselves the Migrant Merchants Guild. While Republic security... Nick, none of you should be living here. We can't guarantee your safety. You know that. Our homes were buried under rubble during the war. Not our fault the businessmen here are all crooks. I understand things are difficult, but getting excited won't help. Excited? This isn't some minor inconvenience. The Republic considers us squatters and wants us out. The Migrant Merchants Guild claims to protect us, but all they do is exploit us. Now the Guild has kidnapped my mate Rhea and put her to work as an entertainer. Rhea! Forced to dance for the pleasure of scoundrels! Why did the Guild kidnap your mate? Because I failed to make my protection payments. And as you can see, Republic security couldn't care less. For goodness sake, Nick, give it a rest. There's no telling what humiliations and depravities Rhea's been forced to endure. My beloved is worth a great deal to me. Bring him back and I'll reward you handsomely. 
All right, I'll do it. I always was a sucker for people in love. Thank the ancestors. I cannot express what this means to me. Rhea is being held with the other dancers in the guild headquarters. She's a beautiful Nautilin with lovely green headdresses. I'm sure you'll know her. But now, I hate excessive PDA. I don't mind if you're holding hands. I don't mind if you're cuddling up in the booth of my work. That's fine. That's cute. You share a small chase kiss. That's fine doesn't bother me when you go full-blown make out in front of everyone I'm like okay you you gotta stop you're just trying to get attention and shit in accordance with security force regulation 1195 conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum let's make this quick I'm captain Denel Zahn senator Barks page ordered me to give you information regarding the senator's stolen goods I wouldn't let him order me around good that's why we need to reach an understanding here did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? This is just business, got it? All right, I get it. You should still know the truth, though. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for Senators. Those chips must be worth a pile of credits. The Migrant Merchants Guild wouldn't have stolen them otherwise. True. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. What's the upside for me? I can offer you the standard rate. The Senator's probably offering more, but it'll be dirty money. Find the chips and get out of the guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the senator. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of slavery. Even, like, in Thotian's mindset of, like, money, still. They're uh, having shootouts in the street? And here I thought, of course, it wouldn't be any fun. Yeah, no, I'll... Slavery is a no-go. Cut power to the whole blasted planet if you have to. We can't let those crazies take over the network. Captain Winborn? And he just Senator Kale said you need backup. What's the situation? We're getting cut to pieces down here. We're not trained to fight an army of killers. These gangsters are smart, organized, clearly trained off-world. They'll kill thousands. Might even destroy the Senate Tower. Pull your men back, Captain. Let me handle the criminals. It's not that simple. They came here with a plan. The gangsters brought slicers to access every network node in the sector. They're trying to take over the automated speeder flight paths. They'll cause thousands of mid-air collisions. It'll rain debris on the Senate Tower like a meteor storm. No telling how many will die. Sure, Senate Tower is a little gaudy. That's no reason to burn it down. Who are you? Ah, oh, forget it. Don't care. The gangsters have armed patrols guarding the network access points. We need to push them back and manually lock down the terminals. Get enough terminals, and we might just pull this off. My men will back you up. Good luck in there. Alrighty. There were supposed to be more missions here. Let's see, there might be a bonus. You're alright. Yep. Kill 20 people. Money's not too bad. I love how I just keep punching everything. Ready? Oh, archaeology. I forgot now you can't sell materials because it used to be part of your 
um, inventory, like actual inventory space, and so I guess they got rid of it. So the only thing we really need is um, electronic safes. <laughs> How powerful is my freaking punch? And this is another um, staged bonus, so we gotta do multiple parts to it. The way you can tell, see who actually counts for it, is put your cursor over them. And down there where it tells you about them, it'll have a mission, like up 12 of 20 and stuff like that. That way you can tell, okay, so this is actually worth killing. Oh, <laughs> poor dude didn't even have time to pull out his gun. Oh, poor, poor man. All right, I need to kill five more. That ought to fix you. More. Alrighty. If I remember right, killing these guys is the next part. So we're gonna kill this dude first. Put him on passive. It, Wait for it to update. Alright, and now we kill. Because we would have killed him long before it had updated, but now that way we get at least one of the six that we need. Okay. Abby two. These plants are for the bio, it's the last gathering. And then bio I forget what the actual name of it is, but they can also um harvest uh animals, like wild animals that you kill that are of uh silver or higher um difficulty. This, that right there is one of those holocrons. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention when I was talking about it, because I was talking more about the platforming in the two episodes ago, um, is one thing they changed is instead of having to find it for each character, they're all shared right here. Like, see, I've, I've collected a majority of them. Not all of them. I kind of stopped doing it. But E. Just gonna go ahead and drop. Oh, and I can't do it while moving. Damn. Yeah, there's an uh, upgrade where you can actually do diagnostic scan while moving. I need to kill two more enforcers. Not out of picture. Alrighty. In the final part, investigate the migrant merchant's guild ship. I think that's gonna be the last thing we do. I'm almost out of time. Not a bad stopping point, honestly. Go ahead and get the bonus mission out of the way and then a lot of times after you complete the final stage of these uh, staged mi bonus missions they kind of become their own mission uh, I think it'll be quicker to run around be careful if you come up this way because of that thing that is what we call a heroic world boss 
They are some tough mofos. Never try to attack them by yourself because your companion becomes useless. It literally makes them incapacitated, useless, whatever you want to call it. And so you need a bunch of people. To take them on. And even then, they're tough motherfuckers. Alrighty. Going here, I'm gonna get somewhere safe before we end this video. And this medical center is a good place to stop. But that's all the time I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Hope to see y'all next time.